Hello everyone! We are continuing to make videos about our sharpening life hacks, and today we are going to tell you about how to control the symmetrical cutting edge with the marker. You see, the marker is the best way to monitor what section of the bevel we are processing. Let's discuss a common situation. You bought yourself a new knife, it is straight from the factory, and it might have the cutting edge that is wider on one side, more narrow on another side, it may have difference in angles from one side to another, it's pretty common because knives, well, at the factory they are mostly sharpened with the grinder and no one bothers themselves to make a symmetrical edge. But with our system we want to get this symmetry. And now let's see how we can do it. To catch the right angle, we are going to use the marker that will show us the real borders of the bevel. We will be able to see if we are removing the metal from the edge itself, then the marker will be at the top side of the bevel, or if we are processing the top border. In this case, the marker will remain on the cutting edge. In accordance with what we see during the sharpening, if the marker remains on the cutting edge, which means we are not reaching it, we have to increase the angle to reach it. But if we are processing just the very tip of the cutting edge and not reaching the top border of the bevel, we have to decrease the angle. If we see that the plain section of the knife is processed as it should, but closer to the tip, the marker remains on the cutting edge or on the top border of the bevel, we will have to change the positioning of the knife. As we move the tip of the knife closer to the axis of rotation of the frame that holds the clamps, the bevel on the tip will be more narrow and if we will move it to the opposite side we will make the bevel wider. In general the sharpened section of the blade gets thicker closer to the tip. It is made to prevent knife breaking at the tip but our final goal is the symmetrical bevel and to do it we have to check the width of the bevel on both sides. If on the one side we are getting a bevel that's very narrow, we will process this side longer to prevent excessive removal of the metal. This is very important when we are working with a very coarse stone because during that operation we are removing the maximum amount of material from the blade and we have to keep in mind that we are not trying to get the same angle along the whole cutting edge. We are trying to get a symmetrical bevel and the same angle at every point on the edge but not along it. A very important tip here is not to work at the same section of the knife too long. Otherwise, we will create curves on the cutting edge and you will have to resharpen the whole blade because the edge with gaps and changes of the angle will not work long. It will get dull very quickly. For some sharpeners, it may be difficult to get a symmetrical cutting edge due to the geometry of the knife. If the knife has a long plane section, we are positioning the knife parallel to the frame that holds the clamps. But if the knife has a long recurve, we are making a straight line from heel to the tip and we are positioning a knife in a way that this line would be parallel to the frame. This would help us to get a symmetrical edge. If you like our videos about sharpening life hacks, press like, subscribe. If you are an experienced sharpener, please leave your comments down below and share your experience. We hope to see you soon. See you next time.